The pain in Portugal continues with shares in Banco Espirito Santo plummeting yet again. Banco Espirito Santo is a huge factor in the Portuguese economy. The only way I can really describe it is think of Wallenbergs in Sweden and the impact they have on the Swedish economy and then multiply that by tenfold. That's how big Banco Espirito Santo is in the Portuguese economy. They have been involved in every single private and public deal in the last 30 years. This is a true power family. This is someone you need to reckon with if you want something done in Portugal. That is now changing. So everything being equal, we have a very, very systematic change in, 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 in Portugal. Someone you know, on the left-hand side would say that is the end of cronies capitalism. Uh, but certainly uh, the impact from Banco Espirito Santo's uh, group, which is we have to, to stress is not the bank, it's actually the Banco Espirito Santo group, financial group that is under pressure. Today we have a deadline for the bonds. We'll see what happens, but the CDS, the insurance premium on the bond is rising heavily. The bonds are dropping like a stone. So it seems like there will be a mispayment at the holding level today. Despite a shakeup of executive management, the problems and accusations of financial irregularities are yet to be resolved. Despite the fact that the government has said we will not step in, I'm absolutely 100% certain, should it be necessary, the government state needs to step in, exactly because they are the most important single uh, shareholders in, in Portugal today, in the last 20 years, in the last 30 years.